Our trip from Cape Cod to Pittsburgh was supposed to take three hours, but it was over in a matter of minutes. Lots coming up. The winds were 20 to 25 knots, gusting over 30. Very windy. Yeah. Caps is available. 600. Cheers 246 Delta Mike, contact boss departure on 118.2. Have a good day. Over to departure 6 Delta Mike. I set up the autopilot to help maintain a steady climb, but even it had trouble keeping level. Wow. Oh. Really a lot of windshear here. <laughs> Boston Departure Series 246, Delta Mike 1200, climbing 2000. It's in this moment of high concentration and high workload that our son notices a problem and speaks up. It, it looks like they're 85 hanging out to our route runway 33, wind 30025, clear for takeoff. On the right wing, there's like liquid leaking out of that. It's okay, it was when I... Uh, it's I jumped to the conclusion the that it's just residual way. fuel yeah, left yeah, outside so the seal from when I sumped. But I was wrong. When I uh, put the fuel, I put the fuel back in that side after. But thanks for 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 looking. It is sealed. I double check that every time. Direct Providence, six Delta Mike. My focus is on climbing and navigating and managing the plane in these winds, and I've kind of put the fuel drips on the wing out of my mind right now. Thankfully, I have two attentive crew members who will speak up and even challenge me when something doesn't look right. It's like really coming out. All right. Uh, Sierra 6, Delta Mike, we'd actually like to go back and land at Hyannis. It looks like we have a leaky fuel cap. This flight is over. Left 180, maintain 2000. Six Delta Mike. Now I have to land in those awful winds I thought I'd left behind. Six Delta Mike, you have a field place, 10 o'clock, 3 miles. Uh, yes, we've got field place, Six Delta Mike. Six Delta Mike, clear visual approach, runway 33, contact Hyannis Tower on 119.5. Clear 33, uh, visual 119.56 Delta Mike, thank you. Hi, this hour is 246 Delta Mike. Uh, we're coming back around to land. We gotta check the uh, security of a fuel cap. Sears 246 Delta Mike, Hyannis Tower, Roger runway 33, clear land, and uh, do you need any assistance? 33, clear to land, no. I think we're just gonna taxi back over to Griffin and start over. Sounds good, thanks. It was really great to hear how quickly these controllers jumped in and offered to help. Winds are 31020. 20 knots is a lot of wind, but it's not too far off the center line for runway 33, so I'm feeling okay at this point. Jesus. I didn't put my left wing down into the wind enough and it got picked up a bit pushing us over to the right. This should have been a go around. Sirius 246 Delta Mike, left turn on Delta Tax Park and uh, I will keep that flight plan open for you so just uh, let us know when you're ready to tax back out. We park the plane and go to see if we can find out what's wrong with the fuel cap. This is the fuel cap on a Cirrus. It has a locking mechanism, and the tension of it is controlled by this nut in the middle underneath. Our locking mechanism was too loose. So we know what the problem is and fix it pretty easily. But instead of turning around and going right back out, we decide it's been enough excitement for one day. It's better to rest up and try again tomorrow. The next day, things are looking real nice. Win 330 at 1-3. Three. Perfect, thank you. Takeoff and climb out were smooth, but what about the gas cap? All right, that was much better. How's the gas cap looking? Looking good. Looking good. Great. Thank you. And with that, we successfully complete our long journey home. I really owe a debt of gratitude to my crew, 
I'm lucky to have family who not only enjoys flying, but is attentive and helpful in the cockpit as well. This experience reinforced some lessons for me. Never take off into conditions you don't want to land in. Always listen to your passengers and crew. And always, always have a go around right at hand when you're coming into land. Have fun, and as always, fly safe.